Tracy, I got to ask you about one of your former teams because, you know, I have a lot of basketball guests on the show and, you know, no one's been able to come up with an answer to the question. And obviously Mike D'Antoni can't come up with it either. Uh, but, but what on earth is wrong with the Los Angeles Lakers? You know, they go out and get Dwight Howard and Steve Nash in the offseason. It was expected this team was going to compete for a championship. They fire Mike Brown five games into the season. They're 17-24. and 24. Uh, they're not scoring the way you would expect a Mike D'Antoni team to score. Uh, you know, they were held under 90 by the Bulls the last time out. Everyone's bickering there from Kobe to Dwight to Gasol. You know, when you look at the Lakers, what do you think are the most pressing issues right now? Well, they're, it's simple to me. They're, you know, they said they were built to win. They're not built to win. They're, they're older. you got a bunch of over-the-hill superstars who doesn't move like they used to. This team cannot play defense. They don't move their feet. They play against younger, quicker, more athletic guys. And uh, can they score? Yes, because all it takes is brain power to score. If you have a high basketball IQ, you can score the basketball. But defensively, it's athleticism. It's guys being on the same page. It's having somebody in the back to erase your mistakes out front. And the White hasn't been 100% since he's gotten there. And they forced him to come back too early, and they're trying to get him to, to get strong and learn on the, on the fly. And honestly, he should have come back around Christmas time. Yeah. They forced him back too early. I mean, his body looked like it's starting to come back now. He's looking stronger, but he's still not the jump to the top of the backboard block shot to White Howard. And I don't know if he will ever get that athleticism back. I hope he does. That's what made him special. Um, but he's not able to erase the mistakes of Steve Nash, who, who can't guard anybody. Yeah. And, you know what? He's older, but he's never really been a defender. He's been an offensive player. You're right. Kobe Bryant, he has to guard the best player because he loves taking the challenge. But Kobe doesn't move his feet like he used to, even though he may have sparks of the old Kobe. Um, metal, uh, why, why not to, I mean, metal wall piece. He can, he can still defend if he's close enough to put his body on you, but he's not quick enough to keep you in front of him anymore. Wow. And then the scapegoat for everything, so his mind, heart, and soul is not into what he's doing anymore. Jameson is older. You got guys that have great names and in their prime, this would have been a great team. Yeah. Right now, at this state of their career, it's not a great team. Well, you know what, Tracy, you, you hit the nail on the head, and, and the thing is, uh, you look at it, and, you know, Mike D'Antoni is an offensive coach, and, and we know they don't have a problem on offense. It's defensively, and that's why a lot of people were stunned uh, that it wasn't Phil Jackson who uh, you know was willing to come back, but uh, for some reason uh, things sort of fell apart before, while the negotiations were going on that weekend. What do you do from here? I mean, you know, I, I mean, D'Antoni's already put Gasol on the bench. He's already, uh, you know, made statements like, you know, what the season starts now. I mean, the owners questioning the team's effort right, right now. Sorry, the GM uh, Kupchak is questioning the team's effort. Uh, but what do you do? I mean, uh, do, you, do you trade Dwight Howard? I mean, he's a free agent after this year, so you might lose him for nothing. I mean, is there is there a solution for, for this, or basically is this just a lost season in your opinion? I, I don't know what to say right now because I don't care if you had Mike Brown, Bernie Bibberstaff, Mike D'Antoni, Phil Jackson. No one can really coach this team the way it is right now. You have to find some way to get some youth in there. I think Earl Clark has been a great addition yep. to the rotation. Yeah, he's starting now. He's playing with a lot of energy. He, he's knocking down shots. He's hungry. You need hungry guys in the lineup who, who want who want and need an opportunity. And he's taking advantage of his minutes. So you need more guys like that. Jordan Hill was playing great with his energy and but but him going to the sideline being hurt now is that hurt, you know. So what what you you have you got to use, especially when it comes to getting stops and and, and uh, defending somebody. So I I think the Lakers if they can put it together they can move around and make a run and get to the eighth spot. But 
they're not going to last very long in the playoffs if they get there. Well, no, I mean the last year they lost to uh, to Oklahoma City in five games, right? And right. you know the Thunder's a better team this year, and the Lakers are worse. Right, exactly, and and, and that's your best team in the West. Yeah, and the Lakers are, they won't get past the seventh team. Is, you know the top four teams. I mean, you talk to the Clippers, who are very athletic. That's playing very good basketball. You talk I mean, it's, the Spurs are doing a good job of of mixing young with older. Mm-hmm. 